Hi everyone and uh, welcome to part two of my kit bash of Mirage's 135th scale C7P Polish artillery tractor. Um, in this uh, video we're going to be looking at uh, scratch building and detailing out the uh, back end of the vehicle um, as well as um, scratch building uh, the engine uh, which was made by uh, Sura uh, back in uh, the 1930s. So sit back and enjoy and let's do some modeling. Here um, I decided to uh, put the uh, sides on the uh, bottom floor panel. Um, I haven't stuck this in yet because I'm still not quite sure how all the components are fitted in, uh, but it will now be a, a lot easier to, to manage. So the first thing I wanted to do was do the rear uh, axle uh, hubs and just using a piece of two mil um, tubing cut down to size. It was a matter of then getting out the uh, eyelet maker a very handy tool to have uh, in your arsenal uh, as you can see it makes six different types of diameter discs and these were then just simply attached to uh, each end of the tube and uh, sanded into place uh, once they were dry then it was just a matter of uh, adding some nuts um, I use uh, Meng nuts there's about I think um, A, B, C and D sheets different sizes and different formats um, well worth getting hold of uh, very useful and there you can see uh, that's them in place there probably a little bit bigger than what they should be but uh, I'm, I'm happy with the way they look then we had the central strut was very simply put together uh, with a little bit of scraps of um, plastic card and a piece of square rod and this will obviously be details up um, later on in the build and then we started having a look at the equipment. First of all, I took out a fire extinguisher from the spares part, uh, made a little cradle um, using some uh, Slater's um, strip, and then a little hose, uh, which was made from four mil wire. And then I just sculpted a little bit of plastic on the end for, for the uh, fire extinguisher hose uh, end. Um, and that was just stuck on in place um, using uh, CA glue. So a little bit fiddly, as you can see on the 5P piece here, but it certainly looks the part. Uh, once in place and also you can see that I've scratch built a little uh, toolbox with some uh, equipment in and I've used an old jack from the spare box as well and that's been put in place so all in all those are the main components that will be going in the uh, back end of the um, vehicle um, all loose because they will be coming out and um, painted uh, separately um, once the whole of the uh, interior has been complete but as you can see it all fits in nicely next I turn my attention to the uh, radiators uh, it's just a matter of just building up and uh, making detail uh, this is the main strip um, which will they'll actually be sat on in the back of the uh, vehicle and then I sculpted some square rod as you can see on the left side it's just sanded down into a dome shape added on top with another piece of strip and these will obviously be detailed out later um, but what I did do was just to make some uh, fuel uh, caps simple uh, process of just having different types of uh, plastic card disc and glued together on top and then I got some uh, mesh uh, to make the uh, grill cover get it from anywhere uh, Eduard this one is but I think ammo do them as well and then it was a matter of uh, starting the fans these will be done at a later stage uh, but just used a bit of pewter strip um, that was uh, curved around a, a, a large uh, tube um, then glued into place and uh, like I say I'll add on the fans once they're built uh, with the latest stage so next I'll turn my attention to the fuel um, storage in the back I have no photos at all of what they're supposed to look at so look like so I just made them as best as I could to fit in um, again using some tubing and some slater strip to add a bit of detail and as far as the actual sort of legs and support goes that was used quite simply by getting um, some of my old plastic card that um, I've used to make discs with um, and then just slice them in two and uh, cut them down to size and that was quite a, a simple and effective way um, just to make a little support um, and later on I'll uh, add the fuel cap onto these as well so all in all it's quite an enjoyable uh, little build I'm very pleased with how everything has uh, fitted in uh, what I will need to do later on is to do um, a lot of detailing 
added some more wires and nuts etc um, but at the moment I'm very pleased with the way that's all gone so again just to recap on the uh, radiators with the grill there is still some more detailing to be done on the top uh, radiator cover and on the fans at the back um, but very pleased with, with how they they have turned out eventually there'll be some pipe work going into them from the uh, engine itself again this support very basic and there'll be some more rivets etc to be added on at the later stage um, the jack very straightforward had to do a little bit of um, cutting uh, just to get that to fit in into place but that worked out well and one of my favorite pieces which is the fire extinguisher with the cradle on there uh, looking forward to painting that up and that will certainly look the part once done and there we have the um, fuel cans nicely detailed but again need to have the, the caps put on and then the little toolbox just a basic box basically um, with the little uh, handles there using 3mm wire and just some scraps from the spares box to, to add in there as well so as you can see all the floor plans been done it is a matter of detailing this out now there's a few wires and brackets to put up along the side hull um, unfortunately a lot of it will be covered up but uh, it will certainly look the part now what I've done is to start making the uh, basic shapes uh, for which the, the engine will be made from um, for you petrol heads out there you can see this is a five cylinder and it should have been a six cylinder uh, but I'll uh, go through that problem with you later on in this video and just starting to, to put some of the um, shapes into place and then we can create the uh, engine block itself this was done with square rod um, this particular process um, I use a lot of glue um, to seal all of the seams and then what that also does is give me an opportunity to uh, sand it all into place because it's a lot easier to sand the uh, round lines and, and create that create that rounded shape uh, to the engine and we have a good foundation now for, from which we can work the front uh, hub um, that was used by uh, simply making discs um, from plastic card gluing them all together again with a lot of glue and then just sanding and shaping that into into a, a, the rounded shape that you require from the front and similarly for the bottom of the engine um, three bits of card were put on top of each other glued into place and sanded down and as you can see that's created a nice form for the bottom of the actual engine itself um, I started off using uh, tubing uh, to make the uh, six cylinders I must have just had a senior moment but for some reason I made five um, I actually changed my mind on the size as you will see in a minute um, so I actually went from uh, 2.4 mil tubing to, to 2.8 solid and these are the solid ones um, they were sanded down on each side to, to give straight edges and that gave more of a uh, realistic look um, so this is the very rough start of it and that compares with the five tubes so as you can see it does look a lot more realistic um, as far as size goes but again there is one missing I then did uh, the banding at the top um, for the exhaust holes etc to be put on and there we go uh, that was re repeated on the one side and on the other side it was plain but I was really pleased with the way this was going again sculpted the top to give that uh, engine uh, head a uh, realistic look and those are the main basic components now in place and I was really pleased with the way it was all heading at this particular stage there was a back panel uh, that was put on as well as per the um, diagrams that I was working from and then we came on to the exhaust um, a simple uh, use of uh, sanding down some tubing however when you do a join on a piece of tube or a piece of rod um, it's very difficult to uh, get the join correctly as you can see it always sticks out 
So the thing to do is very, it's very simple technique. Just get yourself a, a rounded file. Just file the end of the tube and so it uh, creates a, a small arch. And then as you can see now, when you add that particular piece of tubing on, you get a lot more of a snug fit and more realistic as well. And if you add quite a bit of glue when you're doing that and then use a knife or a cocktail stick, you can create a little bit of a, a, a seam line around there to show the weld join. So very pleased with how that came out. And then we worked on the exhaust on the other side. Um, again, that was a matter of just sculpting down a, a piece of tubing and bending that at the end. And then adding uh, little bits of rod into the uh, gaps that were made earlier uh, to create the exhaust stack on this side. And as I was doing it, that's when the penny dropped and I realized that the six cylinders only had five. So it was out with the uh, saw and I had to saw the bottom off of the um, engine because I was quite happy with the, the way the top was. Um, and then I got a uh, large file, which we'll look at in a minute, smoothed that all down and then replaced it with the, um, with the smaller uh, tubing which this time was six. So now it's gone back to a six cylinder head, um, which is the more realistic way of doing it. And this is the sanding uh, block that I use. Um, it's ideal for larger parts to get it down and have a level uh, platform. You have the uh, thick grit on one side and you have the thin grit on the other side. They're not cheap, um, but uh, well worth the investment. Um, if you're going to do any more scratching work. Then I started adding some more details onto the side. Um, here we have some copper coils. Um, very easy to do, just wrapping a three mil wire around. And then just using some jewellery. Um, I think this is for, for use on your fingernails and that sort of stuff. Just to add li little caps to the top. Um, doesn't look pretty now, but once painted up, it will certainly look the part and then again we have to come to do some more sculpting um, again just get a, a little bit of square rod cut it down to size then get your sanding sticks and just gently sand down the edges and create the form that you require which in this case was like like a triangular conical shape so not brilliant but I was, I was pleased with the way it came out and as you can see once put in place the engine starting to create uh, a bit of form now always check to make sure that the scratch parts fit in with the kit parts and that was all going very well indeed so i was pleased with that and we have a couple more parts that were sculpted from rods and just adding some detail there with some um, 0.5 rod and sheet at the top and we had to do another bit of exhaust uh, these are the parts that we used again using the techniques that we used on the initial um, exhaust work and then it was just a case of putting them all together using the same sort of uh, techniques here just to make the filter look a little bit more filter like i'll just put a bit of mesh around pe mesh on that however when i did a test test fit um, it actually stuck out too far so the whole of this section had to be modified slightly to make sure that it would actually fit into the uh, covering as you can see here of, of the main um, engine cover that goes through the central part of the, of the vehicle. But once all the changes were made, it still looked the part and I was happy with the result. And here we have some pictures of the main components all in place. So with the uh, main components done, we can now concentrate on doing some of the detailing work. And as you can see here, we just added some wires, a little spring in there, some nuts and some rivets, and just to add some interest to the actual build. Um, and this was progressed uh, all the way around the actual engine itself. Um, I used Tamiya cable, uh, which is ideal because it's a uh, plastic coated wire. Uh, very bendable you can get it in different sizes um, I think this one was about 0.4 mil um, there was some occasions where I needed to do some more sculpting work um, really I should use milliput 
but um, I, I wasn't too concerned uh, so here I just used uh, some filler and just sanded that into place um, then all the detail was added um, and effectively um, it's not too bad a representation obviously it's not accurate because it's only a scale model um, but I was really pleased with the way it all turned out and I was happy to uh, call the engine completed So all that leaves me to do now is to say thank you very much indeed uh, for watching uh, the update. Um, on the next uh, part three uh, we'll be looking at some more detailing and detailing the actual kit parts making them accurate um, and then we'll actually be able to finish the internal works. I'm not quite sure how things are going to work as far as painting goes uh, whether I'll do it all at once or, or whether I'll do the painting first before I continue with the rest of the build. Um, the whole of this um, project is developing a a as it goes so it is very fluid so I'll leave you with some stills and it just leaves me to say thank you very much for your continued support of my work and for the channel and uh, happy modeling